Speaking of good signs, a very bad situation for an Alaska uh, state senator is that Alaska Airlines has banned her from flying on Alaska Airlines. I'm talking here about state Senator Laura Reinbold. Uh, Tim Thompson, spokesman for Alaska Airlines, told the Anchorage Daily News over the weekend, quote, we have notified Senator Laura Reinbold that she is not permitted to fly with us for her continued refusal to comply with employee instruction regarding the current mask policy. Apparently, she has not only been refusing to wear a mask, she was even recorded arguing at Juneau International Airport, arguing with an Alaska Airlines staff member about mask policy. And the video appears to show airline staff telling her the mask must be on. It must cover your mouth. It must also cover your nose like the basics. We're going back to March 2020 on masking. And uh, she had been apparently asking about a mask exemption with upright employees, with uptight employees at the counter. She said, I was reasonable with all Alaska Airlines employees and that she did ultimately board the flight, but she's been vocally opposed to any covid-19 mitigation measures. She has objected to the Alaska Airlines mask policy that was enacted before the federal government enacted a mask policy. Alaska Airlines had already been saying even before Biden came in, you have to wear a mask. She's been calling Alaska Airlines staff mask bullies. And uh, when she was asked by uh, flight attendants when boarding the flight to put the mask on, I guess she went nuts and then uh, has sent some kind of apology to the staff. It's all completely crazy. And this is the only airline she can take to go from uh, between Anchorage and Juneau unless she starts flying private or like could she connect somewhere in the mainland? Imagine having to fly from Juneau to like Seattle and then Seattle to Anchorage because she's banned. Actually, even that flight, I think, is only in Alaska. I don't know what the hell she's going to do, quite frankly, because if you are an Alaska state senator needing to regularly get back and forth to Anchorage, there aren't really other options other than Alaska Airlines. And, you know, I know a lot of people in the audience have dealt with the mask stuff when flying, but you don't necessarily expect it from a sitting state senator. Even on my flight, I talked about this on my I flew a different not Alaska Airlines, which I, as far as I know, Alaska Airlines is being really good on the mask stuff. Not every airline is. I flew a different airline to Aruba last month, fully vaccinated, of course, and with a mask and everything. And um, there was absolutely no enforcement of masking. There were a lot of people sitting near me who were playing sort of coy with the food and drink policy, where even though the airline announced multiple times, if you are actively eating or drinking, you can take your mask off. If you are between sips or bites, put the mask on. And there were a bunch of people on the plane who were doing the thing where they take the mask off and they hold their drink up. So they appear to be in the process of actively drinking. And then they just watch a two hour movie on the TV screen and just hold the drink. There was no enforcement whatsoever. At one point, I saw a woman get up from her seat and go to the bathroom, walk by flight attendants with just no mask and then walk back to her seat. And uh, I'd say half of the people near me, the mask wasn't even covering the nose. And, you know, as I said, I wouldn't have traveled if I weren't vaccinated. So I wasn't bothered in that I was, you know, hiding, thinking I'm going to get sick. You needed a negative to everybody on the plane needed a negative test in order to board. And I was vaccinated. I, it wasn't because of that. But if the rules are right now to fly, you wear the mask, I'm going to play the game. If I don't want to wear the mask on the plane, I'll just say I'm not going to travel for the time being because I wanted to travel. I wore the mask, whatever I think about my personal level of risk. That I think is what's frustrating, which is, you know, the rules when you get on that you're told when you book the flight, you're told when you check in for the flight, uh, you're not even allowed near the gate without a mask. You're told via announcements and then for Laura Reinbold to just continue arguing about this. You don't have to fly. Now, you might say, well, she does have to fly. She has to get back and forth from Anchorage to Juneau because she's a state senator. Well, OK, she could look at driving. She could look at chartering a plane. She doesn't have to fly on Alaska Airlines, nor does she have a right to fly on Alaska Airlines. And she is now banned from Alaska Airlines. No word on how she will commute for her work as an Alaska state senator. It's not going to be that much longer, guys. If you're supposed to wear the mask, just wear the mask.